Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel JWT authentication tutorial and we already discussed about how to install JWT into the application and last day we have created the register functionality. So using the postman we have created these things. So if you don't see the previous video, you can check my playlist. The link is added inside the description box. So you can see the user created successfully and now let's create a login so first of all let's rename the request name that is for register and i need to create another request for login so before that we need to create the login functions so here we will create the same things for the registration so we will use the validation first so this is actually the common things and here just write the name and email so we don't need name actually we need email and only password and we don't need to use the unique users okay so this is the required and this is the email so we need email should not blank and the email should have the proper email validation and we don't want to use the confirmed as we are going to log in so we only need the email and registrations and the next things if the validation fails then we need to response that is the return response json validator email and here i want to pass the error code for 22 okay so right here for 22 okay so you can check all the response code from the net also and you can see all the definition or maybe i can create a defined video for to introduce what is the proper code or what is the purpose of the status code okay and let's if the authentication is true means if the validation falls then it will respond the validation error and if not then it will try to log in so first i will check if the token already exists or not so if the token sorry the dollar token equal to not equal to the auth attempt user validation right so auth auth attempt so you can understand using this attempt we can log in into the Laravel application and we'll pass the validator so right here validator and pass the validated okay so just like previous so we use the validator validated okay so it's added and inside this we will just pass the unauthorized okay so if the auth attempts not equal to the token that means it's unauthorized so we need to create the separate token for this so first of all let's respond some message so right here return response and here we need to pass the, all the message using the json and inside here just pass a message that is the error and just write the error that is unauthorized okay so write here in this way unauthorized okay and we'll pass the response code that is the for unauthorized we need to pass the response code is 401 and we need to create a new token so how you can create a new token so let's create another function that is public function and suppose function name is create new token so actually we need to create token in defined defined places that's the reason we are creating different functions and we will use this function every section so this is the created token so let's call this created token from here so just go here and just return so to call the functions we need to use the this actually this is calling the current controllers functions and created new token and we need to pass the dollar token here okay so all are set and here is the error so actually we need to use the array here so okay so now let's create the create new token function so this is basically the simple things so here we need to create so suppose i am directly just returning the response you can take it in a defined variable also, res on 
json and inside this here we will create the token and let's create array inside here and here just write access token and the access token is dollar token and i want to use the barrier token here so just write here token type equal to the barrier token so simply write b a or your barrier and the i want to say the expires so expires in this is the variable and here just write auth factory so we need to call the auth factory and just use the get ttl okay so this is the function we can use get ttl into 60 okay so all are set and finally we have to pass the user information okay so user and write here auth arrow user okay the create token section is ready so we can call from the login function so if you check in the database you can see already we have a john at that email.com is registered so we can log in from the postman so just create another so just create another request so just copy this and paste it here and here i want to call the login function so simply just write here login and also it is the post method and we need to pass the parameter that is the from data we need to pass email and password right and the email is which we already registered that is john at the rate email.com and let's go to the postman and pass the value and we have set it the password is one two three four five six so let's use this and just click on send so here we have error that is so the error is showing from the jwt subject actually we use this jwt subject so if we just go inside the user model so we are using the jwt subject but we have not implemented these things so write implements jwt subject okay and let's try it let's see what happened so just click on the send and you can see the our access token and the token type is barrier token and expires in 3600 seconds and all the user information okay so all are ready so we get that token that means we are logged in okay so our login section is done so if you further want to use any authenticated things that means if you want to go into your dashboard or if you want to go in your accounts or any section you need to use this token as a barrier token and we need to pass these things with a request okay so the login section is done so next day i am going to create the logout section and the dashboard section right so please comment if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day